Well, the first challenge in the United States is that not all states allow for third-party administration of naloxone. Um, our prescription drug laws are state by state rather than federal. So it's similar to when we had automatic defibrillators, which used to be prescription, state by state they, they allowed for the use of them in public places. And I think we're going through that process now with naloxone. But on the bright side, in 2013, six states have passed legislation allowing second part, third party administration of naloxone. So first there's legality, not that we had the third party administration law in New York when we began. It's not necessary, but it's a major barrier. Um, the second one is the cost of it. Now in the grand scheme of medicines, naloxone is cheap. Even if it's $8 a vial versus $1 a vial, even at $20 a dose, that's really inexpensive. But we need to be sure that our kinds of insurance pay for it, whether it be private insurance, the, the public insurance called Medicaid or Medicare, they need to pay for it. And I think it really needs to be like vaccines. In this country, not everybody has insurance, but we make vaccines available in public health clinics, and I've gone out to needle exchanges and offered vaccines right in the community. So I'd like to sort of see the full gamut of funding. So legality, funding, and denial. We're slowly getting it into drug treatment, and I'm very excited about that, but drug treatment providers are putting people at risk of overdose because they're helping them get off of the opioids, so they put them at risk of overdose if they relapse. But even though relapse is common and everybody knows it, many drug treatment programs don't really want to face that reality. But I'm really excited that we've got at least one, well, we've got several therapeutic communities that are signing on, and, and they're sort of the bastion of abstinence is the only way. Um, one called Samaritan Village had a reversal right on site, and they've presented on it at the International Therapeutic Community Conference, different name. So we're, we're getting there, but I guess we've got a fair number of barriers. <laughs>